so remember when is a song about my relationship with my twin brother and um, we both went took separate directions in life and I wound up you know doing music and getting sober and you know he got he, he stayed involved as a drug dealer and became addicted to drugs and uh, in 2010 he, he um, broke into my apartment and uh, I came home to a home invasion and he struck me with a crowbar fractured my skull broke my arm and uh, beat me up till my spleen burst and uh, you know, I was rushed to the hospital and, and um, you know, I, I, I died. And it was like a thing, you know, it was, it was pretty crazy. And, you know, through all that, you know, he, he wound up going to jail and he's, he's, uh, he got 17 years for attempted murder. And then the process of healing uh, has kind of been, you know, what happened between our relationship has a lot, a very heavy hand in how I became a sober companion. And I think that I found a job that by being of service to other people's families, if I was able to help them heal, it helped me heal a little bit each, every single time I could help somebody else because ultimately it's like I could never save him. And this song is really like an open letter to him, you know, and it, and it, um, it, it talks about, you know, he was the cool one. You know, when we were kids, he was cool. I always thought he was cool. And it was like talking, it talks about our choices and how the choices that we make determine who we are. And they determine our destiny. And it's a power that we have to choose every single day. And so uh, it's something that was very personal. Um, and it, it happened, obviously, eight years ago. It took me eight years to, to be able to write this song. But it's also about being in a band with guys who are, again, supportive of this kind of openness. Um, and, and without that, I don't know if the song might have come to fruition or, or got to the record. So it just felt like uh, it was time. You don't really, you know, it just became time. Yeah, I think it was a real breakthrough uh, lyrically because so much of the record, I think before that, was a bit more metaphorical. Um, and we felt collectively when we heard it, we were like, wow, this is another step. You know, the fact that he would be willing to go to those lengths to uh, expose kind of himself in a vulnerable sense about something so, so personal, personal, but we also felt that's exactly the type of thing that people are going to relate to. And, it's, and, it, and there's not a lot of that in metal, you know, or like the, you know, this, yeah. this, so it's, it, to me is, is, is such a, 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 you know, a more direct sense of reality and emotion. And that's really what, that's what makes songs universal in a way, I think. 